Oh dear, looks like they're still asleep. I told them we needed to be up extra early today. I set the alarm for 4 a.m. I'd better wake them up. Hey, darling. Wake up. Darling, wake up already. We don't have all day. There you go. You're finally awake. We have a really busy day today. Why? Well, we're moving to a new home today. Don't you remember? I told you that we'd be moving soon, and now it's finally time. I'm going to untie you real quick, but let me just warn you. Don't you dare try anything silly. You're going to do exactly as I say. Otherwise, there will be a severe punishment for you. And we don't want that now, do we, darling? Good. Now, luckily, everything is packed in the moving truck. Except for you. How oh, silly. I already pre-planned some of this. I hired movers to do most of the heavy lifting and stuff. Except for everything down here, of course. That's why I had to move you into this little closet here. You're going to come with me and be very good. No screaming. We don't want to get off on the wrong foot with our new neighbors. Yeah, it's still pretty dark out. It's very early, but the sun will be out by the time we get to our new home. It's about a five-hour drive. Oh, silly. You think you're going to ride up front? That's not happening. You're going in the back with all the other stuff. You'll be safe, so long as you don't struggle and just stay put. I can't have you causing a scene. Oh, don't worry. It's comfortable back there. You'll be safe. Here we are, darling. Be a dear and follow me. Are you okay, love? I guess maybe I did exaggerate the comfort of being back there. Well, whatever. We're here now. And guess what? If you'd have just been good for me and accepted my love, you could have sat in the front with me. But instead, you've been a pain lately. Still saying I'm crazy and that I kidnapped you. When all I'm doing is taking care of you. This isn't the time. Behave yourself, darling. That's better. Now, come on in. This is our new home. Isn't it nice? You get to have a whole new basement. It's a little more cozy this time, from my understanding. See? Check it out. Pretty big, huh? Not as cramped, and I already have a bed set up for you down there. Go down the steps, slowly. Okay. There we go. Now, just gotta make sure you're secure to the bed. Let's get some rope on you. There you go. Thank you for being so good and not resisting. Hey! Hey, stop screaming. Okay, someone's getting the gag again. There you go. I'll take it out when you've calmed down. I know moving is very stressful, so I understand you're getting a bit stressed out. But we can't cause a scene. It's our first day in the new neighborhood. We have to make a good impression. We're just a normal couple in their new home. 
Looks like we might have a visitor. Shh. Stay quiet. Hey, honey. I'm back. We have such nice neighbors. One baked us brownies. I tried one and oh my gosh, they are so good. I bet you'll like them too. Open up for me, okay? Oh, that's right. I'm so silly, I forgot you were gagged. There you go. Now, open up and try out these brownies. Aren't they just delicious? I had to get the recipe. I bet I can make them even better for you, sweetheart. Hmm, I look a little sad. Is something the matter? What do you mean I don't care? I care more about you than anything in the world. You're everything to me. I mean, I went and got us a new house because I figured a change of scenery would be good for us. I know it wasn't super easy back in the basement, but you haven't proved to me that you're actually willing to live with me and let me love you. So you need to be restrained until you become my willing partner. Look, I know this isn't what you want right now, but someday you will want to be with me. You'll find that I'm really a good person. And all I want to do is love you and take care of you. I'm upset that you won't listen to reason, darling. We've been together for a pretty decent amount of time by now. I'm disappointed that you haven't accepted my love yet. And we're not making as much progress as we should have by now. Darling, am I going to have to gag you again? You are really misbehaving here. Stop. Struggling. It's not going to work. It's just going to keep you restrained for even longer than you already are. You have to accept my love. Otherwise you're going to stay tied up. Or handcuffed. Or whatever restraints I choose for you. I'll consider loosening them when you're better behaved. You've been incredibly naughty lately. I bought a new house for us, and you're repaying me by being an ungrateful jerk? It's all good, though. I still love you, darling. I always will. Even if you're being ungrateful for everything that I'm doing for you. I do absolutely everything for you, darling. You shouldn't hate me. You should be thanking me and loving me. All right, that's it. You're being gagged, and I'm leaving you here to get used to your new surroundings. You're much too rowdy right now. There you go. You honestly look kind of cute with that gag in your mouth, being all tied up. You're completely defenseless against me. I could do anything that I want with you. And there's no way you'd be able to stop me. <laughs> that seemed to scare you. Relax, sweetie. It's going to be okay. I won't leave you alone for too long. And when I come back, you had better be on your best behavior. Okay, love? Hmm, that's good. I'll see you in a bit, darling. I love you.